dear students i am kapil sharma lecturer government polytechnic ajmer and going to deliver a lecture on pneumatic calibrator today is 30th march 20 uh, as we know that the calibration process is very important for pressure transmitter and pressure uh, transmitter and pressure gauges it can be uh, very important for industrial purpose this is the as shown in the diagram where is a pressure transmitter calibration device as we know that here is a pressure source air pressure supply this is the filter in which the air is to be cleaned up and it is a pressure regulator in which the pressure is maintained from 0 to 35 psi here is a pressure gauge for measurement of pressure in the air supply it is a valve to control the air pressure and the pressure is supplied to the this point here is a this is the device used for measurement of calibration of pressure gauges and pressure transmitter here are the uh, supply source of pressure uh, pneumatic pressure p1 p2 p3 are the outlet connection in which uh, we connect the various pressure gauges and pressure transmitters and these are the two knobs for regulate the uh, regulate these pressure points there is one pressure gauge is also there which shows the actual pressure uh, which is supplied by the air supply uh, and then uh, if the air pressure is uh, varied with the help of these knobs two knobs and the selector switch is also there just below these knobs Uh, this knob can be selected at any of the uh, points p1 p2 p3 and the fourth point is the pressure released to the atmosphere in this way we can connect the input supply pressure to the pneumatic uh, pressure gauge and uh, this pressure uh, as shown in the pressure uh, in the figure here is a pressure gauge and another pressure uh, which is supplied by the air supply is shown here then both the pressure gauges can be shown the exact same value if there is a difference then the pressure gauges to be calibrated the calibration process is same as first we will check the pressure from zero level zero pressure range to the maximum pressure range in terms of percentage we can say first we will check at zero rating and then 25% of the pressure gauge rating and then 50% of pressure gauge rating and then 75% of pressure rating and then 100% of the pressure rating and then in reverse uh, process we can reduce it from 100% to 75% and then 50% and 25% and then 0% if there is some error we can make some changes in uh, pressure gauges such as tightening of spring and adjustment of needle etc so that the pressure gauge can be directly calibrated in the same way the pneumatic pressure transmitter is also calibrated as the difference between the pressure gauge and pneumatic transmitter is that the pressure can be sensed by the same way as such of pressure gauge and then it can be transmitted to the other point for control purposes in this in industrial application this is the main uh, concept behind the uh, calibration of pressure gauge it is very useful for industrial purpose for calibration of pressure gauges and uh, this is uh, the main diagram of the <coughs> pressure gauge calibrator the main parts of these pressure gauge calibrators are input air pressure its supply is around 35 psi test gauges as shown uh, in the diagram test gauge to be put uh, as such as shown in the diagram this one is the test gauge and then uh, p1 p2 p3 are the three connections uh, in which we can put the test gauge p2 and p3 are the pneumatic transmitter calibrating uh, points and the regulator 1 and 2 are the two regulators in which we can select the switch and then use the regulator switch and the selector switch is also there i have shown in the figure this one is the selector switch uh, which can be moved uh, uh, to the point at which this pressure gauge is connected 
in this way the pressure gauge calibration through pneumatic uh, pressure gauge calibrator can be worked it is very useful uh, for industrial purpose and uh, laboratory purpose it's all about the pressure gauge calibration device thanks